Get the latest news and keep up to date with information about Soba America on Soba America TV. Soba America TV's December 2019 broadcast. In this edition, we will be starting with our news update. It will look at our Soba America nation and diaspora community. Our feature presentation is all about Christmas and how it is celebrated in different parts of the world. We will conclude with a message from our president, Dr. Beatron Forte. This is Soba America TV, and do not go away. <laughs> In mercy, the throne is established, and one will sit on it in truth. In the tabernacle of David, judging and seeking justice, and hastening righteousness. For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given, and the government shall be on his shoulder. He shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God. Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, the Prophet Isaiah. It is December. It is Christmas. In a few days, it will be the New Year. Let's have the news update. Education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. Immigrant children, after graduating from high school, face structural barriers into higher education. This may include lack of mentorship, limited knowledge on eligibility into post-secondary institutions, as well as lack of continual financing for tuition and other living expenses. We need our children to reach their full potentials if we are to grow as a diaspora community. Last month, the servants of the Carolinas recognized their 2019 scholarship recipient during their annual gala. Listen to this report from Tom Asher. Dr. On Saturday, November 9, 2019, the Sobans of the Carolinas recognized the 2019 scholarship recipients during the Soba Carolinas Gala. Recipients were 2019 high school graduates resident in the Carolinas with a parent of Cameroonian descent. The award ceremony took place at the Five Star Crown Plaza Hotel with over 150 guests in attendance. Soba Carolinas is able to recognize these deserving students thanks to the generous financial support from its members. The gala began with a Master of Ceremony, Soba Nico Ngua of the 1982 class, welcoming the guests. This was followed by a delicious dinner served by the hotel. The president of Soba Carolinas, Ngale Divamongo, later welcomed the esteemed guests and delivered his keynote remarks on Soba Carolinas. I was really tired and I said, I'm going to come here from Ghana. I didn't know that I was coming here. And also, we had a soccer game today. We got beat by Shaba, by the way. In presenting the awards, Dr. Bertrand Forte, president of Soba America, 
and President Emeritus of Sober Carolinas, he recognized the graduates not only for their academic accomplishments, but also for their potential to become significant contributors to society. So one of the reasons why we're here today is to give back to our community. You see, Representatives of the scholarship awards recipients were very thankful. They stated some of the positive impact the recognition will have on the recipients. They also thanked Sober Carolinas for its outreach to the community and pointed out that the scholarship awards is the first of its kind in the community. Dr. Forte gave a passionate speech about the difference scholarship awards make in the life of the recipients and its impact to society. He gave a personal narrative of having been a scholarship recipient and how it inspired him into his career in medicine. At the end of his speech, he called on guests to donate generously to fund the scholarship fund. This was the conclusion of the first annual Sober Carolinas Day celebration, which started with community service on August 10th. Reporting for Sober America TV Network, I am Dr. Tom Asher. Thank you, Dr. Asher. Welcome back. The Sober America Mini Convention is a national executive council and board of directors meeting during which is open to all sovereigns. It is also an opportunity for the host chapter to have a dress rehearsal on hosting a national convention. Last month, sovereigns assembled in the Grand Canyon State. Here is MC Chitpano. Mr. MC? Well, Emmanuel, thank you very much. I was actually surfing through the world to catch up on updates about Toba America. But it is true that on Friday, November 15, through Sunday, November 17 of 2019, Sobans from all over the Sober American nation conglomerated in the beautiful and sunny city of Phoenix, Arizona for their mini national convention. This mini national convention is a national executive council slash board of director meeting open to all servants. It also offers an opportunity for the host chapter to get a dress rehearsal towards potentially hosting our national convention. The weekend started early with an early bird event hosted by Soba Arizona president Sona Bokose and his wife. Sobans wined and dined, sharing stories as they flocked into town. The fun night was a fitting prelude to an amazing weekend to come. Soban Anu Tazi and his wife welcomed Sobans to their home for the Friday evening welcome event. And as expected, more Sobans had come into town and that made for an even more exciting evening. On Saturday, the National Executive Council got to business during the meeting that started late as servants were slow to wake up after an eventful Friday night at the Tazis. President Forte led the proceeding. A number of important administration priorities were discussed, including updates on the mentors, philanthropy, and business and investment initiatives. The memories of, uh, it was a productive meeting with servants actively involved. Look upon them with your mercy. Important matters Do such as the current state of affairs uh, in Sasa College, amongst others, were on the agenda. All the, good the administration the also announced the creation of two new task teams to begin work on the future Sober American app and Sober America e-store. A launching hosted so by Soban Fidelis Nkeze and, and his wife followed the meeting before Sobans retired to prepare for the gala. 
Later that Saturday evening, servants and patrons, looking elegant as always, were treated to an amazing gala night. Sober Arizona, led by MC Fidelis Nkeze, broke all previous mini convention fundraising records with a strong fundraising effort. They also recognized some Arizona community members who demonstrated excellent services to their community over the years. As Sobans dropped into Soba Emmanuel APS residence on Sunday for the farewell barbecue, the looks on their faces told it all. Sobans and Sobanese were happy with the show of hospitality and the great reception that Sobans and Sobanese of Arizona had shown them. It is obvious that the 2019 Sober America Mini Convention in Arizona will go down the books as one of the great in contemporary times. A true blend of business and pleasure alike for our Sobans. Sober Arizona definitely delivered on its promises. Reporting for Sober American Network TV, I am Kangu Japano, aka MC Japano. Back to you, Emmanuel. The press office of Sober America, together with the organizing secretary and the 2020 National Convention Chair, are happy to announce that registration is now open for the National Convention in Dallas, Texas. This will take place May 22nd through May 24th of next year. Please listen to this report from Pascal Samabat. Pascal? The press office of Sober America, together with the organizing secretary of Sober America and the national convention chairperson of Sober America, are happy to announce that registrations are now open for the 2020 Sober America National Convention which will take place in Dallas, Texas from May 22nd to May 24th of 2020. Sobans and patrons can now book their hotels for the 2020 Sober America National Convention for a special negotiated convention rate. They can also get their VIP tables, sign up for child care services, sign up for sightseeing tours for their families, and get tickets for both rides by going to our website, www.soberamerica.org. Why on the Sober America website homepage? Click on the 2020 National Convention link on the top right corner of the page, and it will take you to the convention link where you can get all the information you may need for the 2020 Sober America National Convention. Hotel information, VIP tables, boat ridings, family side scenes. These are some of the amenities of the convention that you can find on our Sober America website. Our website is www.soberamerica.org. Again, www.soberamerica.org. Reporting for Sober America TV, I'm Pascal Babisama. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Pascal. Educated women stand a better chance of escaping poverty, living a healthier life, and raising the standard of living of their children, families, and communities. Educating a girl child is, in fact, one of the leading procedural concerns when addressing the issues of human rights and development. Seca Baptist College is an all-girls secondary institution located in a small city in West Africa called Victoria, now Limbe, Cameroon. It was founded in 1962. Award-winning author of Behold the Dreams in Bolo Moe is a member of the 1996 class. She recently donated $20,000 to the ex seeker Students Association for the Dreamers Fund. Listen to this report by Naomi Atoro. Naomi? 
Sacred, class of 1996, and award-winning author of Behold the Dreamers, Mbola Boo donated $20,000 to the Alumni Association of her alma mater, ex-Sacred Student Association, USA, towards the Dreamer Scholarship Fund for brilliant young girls for whom an education at Sacred Baptist School would otherwise be a dream. Mbola Boo attended Sacred Baptist College High School after her secondary education. She recalls that some of her close friends dropped out of secondary school because they could not get sustained financial support. That is why she decided to sponsor a scholarship program that goes for full impact with a hostelic approach to the complete welfare of selected students. These students will be guaranteed full scholarship from Form 1 to Upper 6th, provided they continue to excel in their studies and maintain behavior in accordance with school rules. They would also be assured of support and guidance even during school breaks. The education of a girl child is indeed the gift that keeps on giving. It's what they say, when you educate a woman, you educate the nation. Reporting from Soba America TV, I'm Naomi Otogo. Back to you, Emmanuel. Thank you, Naomi. And that's it for our broadcast. Thank you for watching. Have a happy new year. Welcome to this month's future presentation on Super America TV. I am your host, Jukeng Song. It's that time of the year again. December has come with all the joys of Christmas. But what is the real meaning of Christmas? Is it the gift under the tree, the lights in the windows, the cards in the mail, turkey dinners with family and friends, snow in the yard, stockings, hanging out in the living room, and shouts of Merry Christmas to those who pass us in the streets. Is this really Christmas?
glory of the Lord shall be revealed. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel, God with us. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Prince of Peace. There were shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them. Fear not, for I bring you good tidings of great joy. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, a Savior. A Savior. A Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Jesus Christ, God's only begotten Son, the only one who could save us from our sins, from our sadness. He was born so we can be born again. If we love Him, remember Him, follow Him. Rejoice! Rejoice! Rejoice greatly, for unto you and unto me, and unto all of us, a Savior is born. Christmas means many things to many people. It brings different feelings to different people, depending on many factors such as socioeconomic, family dynamics, and others. No matter the circumstance, one thing is common among communities, tradition. Communities around the world have long-rooted traditions on how they celebrate Christmas. Super America TV takes a look at Christmas traditions around the world with a special report from one of our partners. Christianity is by far world's largest religion with an estimated 2.2 billion believers. On Christmas Eve this gigantic number of people trigger their traditional Christmas celebration rituals. The world is full of colorful inhabitants and Christmas celebration around the world is likewise magnificent. Let's see how people celebrate Christmas around the world. Number 1, Christmas Celebration in Argentina In Argentina, Christmas celebration begins promptly at midnight. You see lots of paper balloons go into the sky. Many families kick off the holiday by hosting festive celebrations in their homes, opening gifts with their loved ones, and lighting fireworks in the early hours of the morning. Number 2, Christmas Celebration in Australia Australia's Southern Hemisphere location means it's summertime in December. Their Christmas celebration is quite sunny. Instead of sleigh bells and cocoa, many Australians head to the beach to celebrate the holidays with a prawn lunch, and a few rounds of cricket. Number 3, Christmas Celebration in Brazil In Brazil, Christmas celebrations start near midnight, usually with big family dinners, gift opening, and the celebration of the Missa do Gallo, the Rooster's Mass, in churches. Despite the warm tropical summer weather, themes of winter and snow are not uncommon here. Number 4, Christmas Celebration in Canada Canadian children are gifted with snowy white Christmas celebration. They bundle up in their scarves and toques, a Canadian woolen hat, to play in the snow, ice skate, and toboggan. On Christmas Eve they leave milk and cookies by the fireplace for Santa and sometimes a carrot for his reindeer. Number 5, Christmas Celebration in France Santa is called Père Noël in France. Though their Christmas celebration is rather similar to other Europeans, children traditionally put their shoes out next to the fireplace in anticipation of Père Noël's arrival. If children have been good throughout the year, Per Noel will fill the shoes with gifts. Number 6, Christmas Celebration in Germany In nearly every German town Christmas celebration markets open in town squares. Townspeople gather to hear brass bands, and enjoy traditional fare of the region. 
They eat gingerbread hearts, sugar roasted almonds, sweets of all kinds, and drink mulled wine called Blauwein, or apple cider. Number 7, Christmas Celebration in Ghana. Christmas celebration in Ghana includes the whole family. Adults dress up in costumes and hand out candy and sweets around the neighborhood. Children decorate their homes with paper ornaments and drawings they make at school. Number 8, Christmas Celebration in Greece. In Greece, friendly but troublesome creatures called Kalakantsari, live most of the year in the center of the earth. But at Christmas, they love to hide in people's houses, frightening people, playing tricks, or devouring Christmas foods. Greeks perform rituals to keep these hobgoblins away. Their Christmas celebration is not just celebration indeed. Number 9, Christmas Celebration in Guatemala. Guatemalans celebrate Christmas with fun and dancing. They wear hats called Purotina, eat Guatemalan-style tamales, light firecrackers at midnight, and dance the night away with various styles of dancing. Their Christmas celebration seems pretty colorful. Number 10, Christmas Celebration in Iceland. At Christmas time in Iceland, families give gifts of warm clothing to each member of their household. According to legend, there is a frightening Christmas cat who gobbles up anyone not equipped for the cold and wintry weather. Families work together to ensure nobody will go to the Christmas cat. Sure. Their Christmas celebration is kind of weird I admit. Number 11, Christmas Celebration in Kyrgyzstan. In Kyrgyzstan, Ayatsada, Grandfather Frost, comes at midnight on New Year's Eve and leaves presents under the New Year tree. When the clock strikes midnight, families throughout the country light fireworks to celebrate this beautiful occasion. The cities become as bright as day. Christmas celebration begins with a jubilant heart. Number 12, Christmas Celebration in Mexico. In Mexico, kids of all ages begin their Christmas celebration by breaking binatas. Adults and children have fun by wearing a blindfold, spinning around and swinging a stick to break open the star-shaped hanging pots. When the piñata is smashed open, nuts, fruit and candy spill out for everyone to enjoy. Number 13, Christmas Celebration in New Zealand. Because Christmas is in the summer in New Zealand, friends and family gather round a barbecue. Typical Christmas celebration meals include roast lamb, sometimes cooked in a hangji, an underground pit or earth oven. A favorite dessert is pavlova, meringue covered in fresh fruit like strawberries and kiwi fruit. Number 14, Christmas Celebration in Philippines. The Philippines is known for having the world's longest Christmas celebration season. Four months are considered Christmas months, September, October, November, and finally December. Christmas carols can oftentimes be heard as early as the beginning of September. Number 15, Christmas Celebration in Russia. Russian children decorate a New Year's tree, instead of a Christmas tree. They merged Christmas celebration and New Year celebration together. So, they have long New Year celebration week rather than just one night. Isn't it cool? So cool indeed. Children wait with longing for Grandfather Frost who travels with his granddaughter Snow Maiden, delivering presents across the land. Grandfather Frost resides deep in the woods in Veliki Ustyug in northern Russia. Number 16, Christmas Celebration in United Kingdom. In the United Kingdom, Christmas celebration is incomplete without Christmas crackers. Merrymakers of all ages enjoy Christmas crackers on the table at dinner. Crackers are tubes wrapped in colorful paper, with pull tabs on each end. When you pull the tabs, the tube bursts with a loud snap. Inside are paper hats, toys and candy to enjoy during Christmas night. Number 17, Christmas Celebration in United States. Santa Claus brings the Christmas celebration in the United States. Stockings are hung on Christmas Eve. The legend goes that Saint Nicholas heard of a family in need.
To surprise them he climbed down their chimney, and placed precious bags of gold in hanging stockings. From this point, Saint Nicholas was known as Santa Claus, giver of gifts. Back in Super American Nation, someone across the US and Canada who joined the rest of the world to celebrate Christmas. Many chapters have end of year Christmas parties. Our Cameroonian communities, the US and Canada will also be marking the Christmas holidays with parties across different cities. On this very special holiday season, Super America TV Network wishes you and all of your loved ones a very Merry Christmas. This is our broadcast for this month. Please come back and join us next month for another future presentation of Super America TV Network. was born to Mary and Joseph. Jesus Christ was born to save our sins. And as Christians, we celebrate his birth every year on December 25th. Christmas is a time for love, forgiving, and happiness. And in that spirit, fellow servants, I join First Lady Lara and the National Leadership Team to wish you and your families a wonderful and blessed Christmas and holiday season. May the spirit of love and happiness fill your homes and the love of God shower blessings into you and your families this Christmas. This month I'll keep my message short. I just want to remind you of the financial responsibilities towards our association. If you have not yet paid your membership dues, please remember to do so before December 31st. There are many ways to pay your membership dues through your chapter leadership, via Cash App to Sober America Finance, via PayPal to Treasure at SoberAmerica.org, or via our website www.SoberAmerica.org. I also want to remind you that registration is now open for our 2020 National Convention in Dallas, Texas. You can go online to our website and register for the convention by paying your convention levy today. For those of you who would like VIP experience, we are offering a 10% discount for VIP tables purchased on or before February 1st. We have a limited number of tables for that. Fellow servants, I'll leave you once again with Christmas greetings to you and your families. Merry Christmas. May St. Joseph continue to guide us all. And may God bless you. <laughs>